Good day and welcome to today's construction class. For today, we will be constructing an aquarium. An aquarium. So first of all, let's start with the portion. With the portion B C D. Portion B C D. Portion B C D is actually an ellipse, alright. And we were given uh, the point uh, D C. Point D C to be what? To be sixty-five. So point D C to be sixty-five. So let's develop. Let's develop it. Okay, it might be like 65. I mark uh, 35 first of all. Then I'm having uh, 30 from here to here. Alright. So after doing that, that is going to be my uh, C. Okay, then I'm going to pick my compass so as to get my point D to get my point D so I'm going to assume some dimensions here okay so this will be my F1 F2 alright So from either F1 and F2, you get your point D. Okay, this would be my portion. This would be my portion D. This would be my portion D, which is the minor axis now. So the very next thing is to develop uh, my ellipse. This is my minor axis. Okay. So So ensure you must actually know how to use the auxiliary circle method of developing an ellipse so as to make it easier for you. Thank you. Okay, so I haven't developed the ellipse. So point D A, point D A is half of a parabola with the vectors of that parabola at point D, at point D A. So I'm going to develop that now, all right? So and my D2 is what is 110. Right, my point D2 is 110. I'm going to develop my point D2 is 110. I'm going to measure that out now. So this is length one. That's this. Okay. So 110. I haven't done that. I'm dividing uh, this axis into three equal halves using division of line technique. I'm using division of line technique.
So I am applying the same technique here, division of line technique on this argument also. Okay, so then I'm going to join. Section here is zero to two. This is point of intersection here. Then zero to three. All right. So I've gotten the point for my parabola. So I'm going to bring out the parabolic shape now. Okay. So this is my point. Okay. So this is my point B. All right, so my point B is tangential to point A here. So I'm going to draw them together. It's tangential to it, which is this. Which is this. All right, so the next step is to develop uh, the tail. Yeah, the tail of the aquarium, all right? So I'm going to pick uh, my dimension so radius 30 radius 30 so this is my r30 after picking my r30 on point a here on point a i'm going to draw the first curve that goes this way so i'm making it thin first of all i'm making it thin all right then from this area also I'm drawing another pop of 30 so and I'm going to thicken this area out now so after I that so what are we left with we are left with uh, to develop portion eye and uh, okay. the face. The face. Okay, so let's get the two things now. Okay, so from the midpoint here, the mark there is 15. And this is mark 15 here. So this is the mark 15. So from that mark 15, the big radius of uh, 45. Radius of 45. Now I'm picking that now. This radius. 45 then the second thing also So to develop the curve here, we are going to see that from the midpoint here down here, the measure 65. So this is my mark 65 here, right? So this is my mark 65. So I haven't picked my mark 65. I'm going to place my compass there, then extend it to this junction here. Okay. Then I'm going to draw. I haven't done that. The next is to do the eye. To do the eye. Okay, so this is the point where I place it. So the distance from that area to the top is what is 65. So take note of that. The distance there is 65. Right, so to get the eye now, okay. So uh, from the midpoint, I'm measuring 26 upward. 
So from this portion, picking 26. All right, that's 26. Going from the top, I'm picking 21. So and this is 21. So having done that, I'm going to project. that point this area is going to be my P that's my P so from the P I'm going to may extend my compass from point P I'm extending my compass to this area here then I'm going to draw my arc okay so I haven't done that to get uh, for the other side so all I'm going to do is I'm going to measure uh, five towards the top here from this point. Measuring five towards the top. Then from that point, I'm going to place my compass, measure 26 down here. So this mark here is mark what now? Mark 26. So from there, I'm going to draw the second arc. Okay, so that is that about that. So the next thing is just to include the dimension. To include the dimension all right so ensure that uh you subscribe and you click the like button then also you can also share these videos with your loved ones all right so thank you